Thor is back on the big screen with a trifecta of casting news and the Fast and the Furious ride for the eighth time. Welcome to Geek Ireland's Weekly Geek Roundup. My name is Rory and this week we're starting off with some fresh faces for familiar characters. There's a triple threat of casting news today as we bring you the latest Hollywood announcements. After months of speculation, it's been announced that Jude Law has been cast to play Albus Dumbledore in the Fantastic Beasts sequel. Many have been wondering if the role will go to Richard Harris's son, Jared, with the casting of Jude Law coming out from the left field. Another left field casting is that of Josh Brolin as Cable in Deadpool 2. Considering Brolin plays Thanos in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, we can see why everybody is surprised. An Aquaman casting rounds up the week with news of Dolph Lundgren being added to the already impressive team. He'll play the evil king Neris, leader of an exiled group of Atlanteans. We have a full write-up on each of these castings over on geekireland.com. Fans just can't get enough of Thor and his mighty hammer as the trailer for Thor Ragnarok is now Marvel and Disney's most watched trailer in a 24-hour period. The teaser gives us our first look at footage from the upcoming film, mostly highlighting Kate Blanchett's Hela and Thor's haircut. Fans have been buzzing about the trailer since its release, but mostly due to the news that a fan favourite will meet its end in the film. Yes, the hammer itself gets destroyed by Hela and Thor's face is priceless. The trailer has over 136 million views so far, and all we can say is, October can't come quick enough. The launch of X-Men Gold was sadly marred with controversy, as it seems anti-Jewish and anti-Christian propaganda was slightly inserted into the artwork of the issue 1 release. Adrian Siaf's work includes references to religious prejudice which, while covert enough to slip under Marvel's radar, were quickly spotted by the analytical eyes of the internet. Marvel has released a statement condemning the messages, and CF has stated the move has effectively ended his career. The references will be removed from all future prints and digital editions of the issue. It's sad to see such messages being spread among the geek world, and certainly no irony is lost in the X-Men, long seen as an adage of acceptance and the struggle against prejudice being the canvas for the move. Fasten your seatbelts because Fast and Furious 8 is about to take you on one hell of a ride. Dom has abandoned his family for a hacker called Cypher and it's up to the crew to catch him before it's too late. The franchise is the most successful series on Universal's books and with all the high-octane action, it's not difficult to see why. From jailbreaks to high-speed chases over ice, the eighth installment lives up to its predecessors and then some. It's Fast and Furious, what more could you want? Fast and Furious 8 is out now and to read our full review and see our rundown of the top 7 so far, head on over to geekgarland.com. Thanks for watching this week's episode. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube. And as always, the full stories are over on geekireland.com. But for now, bye.